this discussion is on option delta. Um, to take a look at delta, let's go to maximumpain.com and we'll look at the Greeks tab. And I'll use just Apple. Um, now, what delta is, is the rate of change of a function. So if you have the option pricing message, which is uh, the Black Schultz function, the first derivative of that function is the rate of change. And what that basically means is delta measures the amount of the, the option price changes based on a $1 price change in the underlying stock. So for example, if if we take a look at uh, the um, July 17th, 387.50 cent call for Apple, the delta is about um, 0.524. That means for every dollar the Apple stock goes up, if it goes up to uh, 388.5, the call value price or the call price should increase by 52.4 cents. Um, and what you can see with the delta is the further out of the money you get, the higher the, the delta becomes, right? So with an in the money call, a deep in the money call, um, actually winds up having a, a delta of near one dollar. In other words, if the stock price goes up by a dollar, then option price will go up by a dollar. Conversely, the further out of the money you go on the calls, the um, less the value of the option changes. So for example, a far out of the money call has very little delta, and therefore, even with a dollar change in the underlying stock price of Apple, the option price is not going to change very much. So you can see that delta really comes into effect, or, or has, a, has a range of values really, when it's you know, near the money or at the money. Um, same thing for the puts. Um, um, similar for the puts, right? So an out of the money, an out of the money put, um, really isn't going to have much delta, and an in the money put delta will have, or in the money put will have a delta of close to one. So how can you really use delta? Well, what delta will do for you two things. First, it will actually um, give you a rough estimate of, of how likely the stock the stock is to, or the option is to close in the money. For example, if you have about a um, delta of 0.20 or 20, that, that uh, option is about 20% likely to close in the money. So you can see that, that it, and this is just a rough ballpark figure, but it's, it's Apple stock is about 20% likely to get to the 400 value by the end of the week. So the delta gives you kind of a quick and dirty um, probability of your option closing in the money. Um, and again, we got, if we go further out, you can see there's very little um, probability of closing above 420 or at 420. Um, and these values, of course, obviously go up as closer to the stock price because there's less room for the stock to move or less less the stock is needed to move these options to go within the money. Um, and so, you know, obviously at a 350 call, it's nearly 100% likely that it's going to close uh, above 350, considering the current stock price. The other thing Delta can do is you can hedge using Delta. Um, so what a Delta neutral hedge really means is that um, if you really want to be truly Delta neutral, it means that for all your all the potential rate of change to one side is counteracted by uh, a rate of change to the other side. And we can we can use an example of this. Let's say we had 100 shares of Apple stock. Um, you can think of that as a 100 delta, right? For for every dollar that, that Apple goes up, the, the value of your shares goes up one dollar. So you can think of that as a delta 100. And at the same time, you can think of selling a call for example, if we were to sell a call here at uh, basically the 395, that's roughly a delta of 30. 
Um, just keep in mind that each option contract is really for 100 shares. So if you're comparing, if you're comparing um, the 0.299 delta to the 100 delta for the stock, you actually want to say that's about uh, 29.9 or 29.9. So what we can do then is we just subtract that. If we're selling that call, right, we're actually selling that delta. So we can subtract that. 29.9 uh, from the 100, which is you know roughly 30, and that gives us a delta of 70. So we've actually hedged against a change in the price of Apple stock. We've reduced our exposure from 100 delta in the shares to only 70 by selling the call. And so that's one way to use uh, delta to help hedge your bets. So um, looking at the delta can give you a, a real good idea of probability and uh, also possible hedge values in your stock option positions. So um, thank you for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more.